Hello everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a dashboard like this quickly in Looker Studio. It's gonna take not more than five minutes for you to create this dashboard, I promise. So I'm gonna use BigQuery and we will see how you can create this dashboard again in less than five minutes. So going back, this is BigQuery. I'm using Iowa liquor sales data. And this is a very simple query where I'm selecting star from BigQuery public data, Iowa liquor sales dot sales data. So as I have shown in the other video, this is the project BigQuery public data, Iowa liquor sales dot sales. So Iowa liquor sales is data set and sales is my table. So this is the table. Now I can explore this table by clicking here and say open and it opens up a table like this, sales, and I can see the schema, I can see the details of the table, I can preview the data. So I ran this query, select star from BigQuery with a date range of a month and limit 10,000 records. I click on run and I get the data here. Now, I click on explore data and explore with Looker Studio. So Looker Studio template opens up and you would see that Looker Studio is free, no licensing cost. It was also known as Data Studio in the last year. So Google just changed the name of the product. So I just, I just gonna delete it and I'm just gonna add chart from here. These are the query items that are shown in the query in BigQuery available for you. Look at that. Directly you are taken to the Looker Studio platform. Now from here, I'm gonna add geo chart and I'm gonna add it like this. It's an invalid dimension because it's expecting a geo dimension. I'm gonna add city. And in this, it's an it's ABC meaning text. It should not be a text, right? So. I click on the small icon here, go to text, go to geo and add and make it a city. So now you see the icon changes from ABC to a geo and you see it automatically plots the, the city. And then I'm gonna add sales dollars as the metric. So now I'm looking at sales dollar by city, sales dollar amount by city. And I can, I can expand it adjust it the way I want it. I'm gonna keep it as it is. You can change this as bar graph as well. Next, I'm going to add a chart and I'm gonna do a trending line. So I'm gonna add area chart like this. And you see here, it's already plotted, but I'm gonna make a few changes here. So it's sales dollars, good. It's already it already understands that you're doing a metric analysis of sales dollars because you're doing it here. If it picks up by default pack or something else, you can always change it. Now, because there are so many counties that I have to look at, I can create a filter. To create a filter, go to this add a control, drop down list, push it here. And in the, instead of store name, I'm gonna bring in county like this. And now I can select county, like say poor county, and you would see that entire car chart refreshes. And here in this as well, instead of city, I'm gonna add county. There you go. These are my sales dollars for poor county, poor county. Now I wanna see how many bottles also sold. So I'm gonna click on this icon here duplicate and I get one more chart I get the chart over here and in the metric section instead of sales dollars I'm going to add bottles sold there you go now all of this is updated for Polk County and then I can click on this there's a real estate issue here but then you can click on Lynn Scott, add multiple here, and then as soon as you click outside, it's gonna change it. Make sense? 
and then in this sales you can say sales dashboard and now let's quickly change the theme so i go to themes and layouts and i can pick and select the theme i like for example this was the theme i already had and i'm going to change the color of this chart right so i go to click on the chart go to style and there are a lot of options you can explore it's very simple and here i'm just going to add this just to add, add the color once you are done click on save and share it doesn't have you don't have to share essentially but save click on add to report and you're good click on view and you can adjust right so if you want to make it look good adjust the charts align them up obviously a little bit of formatting add descriptions you know add more details textually and there you go so add text add whatever you would like to put it on the in the graph you can change the font add image add icon add a video whatever you want to do and once you're ready click on view and there you go so this is the dashboard that i showed you initially right here simple so i hope this was fun in the next video i'm going to show you a different method of creating a looker studio dashboard again thank you for watching